Hello everybody, this video wants to be a quick overview or a short tutorial on the Nokian software I just learned. Once you install it, you will find the software in your start menu, all programs, you really must sense having the strip cycle as a magic block. The splash screen has six features with some descriptions, which are the same one in the Casal Bon Polish edition of John D. Works. Once the program starts, you are presented with this screen. On the left side, you have the grid table with four logos, a title above it, and a bunch of letters, symbols. On your right side, you have some text and picture. Under it, you have a keyboard with Nokian characters, a selection of other tables from which you can select from is set by default on a grid table. In the middle, you have all the controls or all the parameters. The grid table is composed by a group of seven letters. Each symbol corresponds to a Latin letter, and you can toggle between the Latin and the Nokian by clicking toggle font. I was saying this group of seven letters form words. For example, if I click here, you get octodon. And in fact, it's octodon. The association to the name octodon to Egypt is found in the book Liber Scientia by John D. The book also, which is basically a table, says also that. This region has 7,290 servants. He is ruled by the angel king Zarzil, who also rules over the Israeli tribe of Naphtali. So, each one of these is a group of seven letters. <coughs> each group of seven letters corresponds to a nation. The name of these nations, however, are written in just this time. So, while some of the nations, like Germany, was Germania, so you can pretty much tell some other parts like DRG or you know, Concava Syria. It is not Syria, by the way. Are more difficult to find. You need a dictionary. So the program is equipped with longitude and latitude of each one of those nations. So when I click on any of the parts, it sets the latitude and longitude of the program to the geographical location. To know where this location is, the program has in the middle a show map button. If I click on it, it reserves a white area. So if you blow my Ocodon, the first one I ever clicked, it says it's Egyptus, in fact, the program points to Egypt. I can do this for every other symbol. So it will show dynamically where those nations are nowadays on the continent. Latitude and longitude are also important when calculating the sunrise and the sunset. Sunrise and sunset are important because he uses a Coptic way, Christian Coptic way of calculating hours. Basically, you divide the sunrise and the sunset period by 12 areas, each one is an hour of the day. So you have the hour of uh, the sun, hour of the moon, hour of the Mercury, hour, and so on and so forth, for all the seven planets known at the time. Those hours are not 60 minutes. I mean, in this case, yeah, I got a 60 minutes hour, but uh, for example, if you live in Norway, when you have a three hour day, um, you might have an hour of an actual hour of a few minutes long. This program makes these calculations, but I get to that later. The only thing important that the program has latitude and longitude for all these locations, so it's able to calculate the correct planetary hours and convert them in modern uh, format. <clears throat> Each one of these ideas is part of a group. Each one of these areas is part of a, a group called idea. It is a group of three of these ones. By moving the idea bar, 
removed within the all of them. So if I click on this one, Hopodon is Egyptus, I don't know. Egyptus is part of uh, the first idea, but Hopodon, that's my Egyptus. But here I also have Pascom and Valverts. By clicking on the idea button, it shows me where the other two are. So we have the Valverts here and Pascom here. We have the Valverts, that is Mesopotamia, and we have Pascom, that is Syria. Mesopotamia is a modern day Iraq. By moving the IT button, I switch between the different ideas. So explore all the areas of the year. The IT button changes through the year. What it does is that in 1584, John Didion gave any indications on the color being used for the table. However, a few years later, either Edward Kelly gave indications to color three of the elements, specifically earth with the color black, water with the color green, and air with the color red. It was not until 1988, 1888, sorry, with the golden dawn. I'm trying to get to that date. Yeah. 1988, but all with four elements actually got the color of the single one. Close enough, 1888 is the longest date in the last 2000 years, but you can write with Roman numerals. Up to year 2000, when it was revised, changing one of the colors. These are plain tables. You can also use these buttons to highlight the table between seven squares and if you want the truncated pyramid. The truncated pyramid is just because each letter has four attributes. Each attribute has a color. So if for example if I go on this letter, it says it this is the symbol of the letter H in the notion. This is a symbol of the zodiac sign wire. This is a symbol of the planet Saturn. This is a symbol of the element water, sorry, air. So if I go back here and click on this, I, I see that the zodiac sign moved to Leo. The planet moved to Saturn. And automatically made all the calculation. The area was Itergy. It calculated the sunrise and the sunset divided by 12 pointed to the hour of Saturn that is the one indicated in the tablet, it tells me that it's 2.33 a.m. if it was in the day or if it was in the night. I just click on here, I recognize me and I can go back to Saturn and I know it's 10.33 p.m. or the second time that happens is 1.42 a.m. in the morning. Now, this moon photo, if I move on the day thing, he actually displays the correct moon face and I can switch through the years. For example, if I go back on my birthday, that is the 13th of December 72, so I point to the year to 1972. I cannot point the mouth with this program, but I can move the zodiac sign buffer to the Sagittarius, that is my zodiac sign, and finally I have enough space to find the 13th of December, that is my date here with this. And it tells me it's a Wednesday. And there it was. If I click on this date, it tells me that the date is Wednesday, the 13th of December of the year 1972, the day of Mercury, the zodiac sign is Sagittarius, the moon is a waxing gibbous. Almost half full. And well, it gives me the dawn time and the sunset time for Itergy, but let's say that I want to know the sunset time of where I'm born, that is uh, near Milano. So I said it uh, Milan, Italy. So the dawn, there was the daylight saving time, the central European time correct. And I want in 24 hours. So the order report is here. And I can use this button to copy the report to clipboard and export it 
in whatever program I'm using to edit. I can export also the report of the plant hour hours of the night or the plant hours hour of the day. Also by copying the report. All the text here can be copied to the report. As well as the top bottom and the is the file of the 25th IP here. Change the IP from IP here. Now moving the IP button. The IP is also a part of her. Or I can move to the fixed calls that are the first 18 calls over which I get the original text, which I can toggle in an option if I want. Or from this Rapano menu, I can select the phonetic version. The phonetic version is the one prepared by Alistair Crowley, by the way. And it tells to an English speaker how to pronounce it, or a simple English translation to it. And this for all the calls. All this text, of course, are copyable to report. So we can play with it to the other programs. You can see the program on whatever you click it moves to different days of the week and freely move around all the bars. Uh, if you click on any of these icons, it should display the signs of the planet. And you can also use the bar to move through them. You can also see the other parts of the program. Parts of the parameters and experience the semantics of the various tablets. The coloring, I try to respect coloring, but uh, let's go on a bigger table. So if I select a different table here, for example, the public of air. Display the, the, the synthetic pyramid. I use this shadow effect. So, this one is the actual color. These are somehow darker versions of it. Um, that's not supposed to be, it should be the same color. It just gives some visual, visual impact of the pyramid in there. If you don't like this, you can disable this effect by clicking on the border lines. So, making the image effect be flat with attributes all the same color. I like them more the other one. <clears throat> you can then select here all the other tablets and each of the tablets is available and play around with it. As you can see, the tablet of Earth. I put four extra ones here. The extra of the Monomicon is the world where all this started. With just the pyramids without the top and play with it, moving the ear bar and see how they change the engravers. Then pictures of the CG in Korean, the Ring of Solomon, and the Table of the Covenant. I just put a scan of the thing and I don't look at the stuff. The boss key that is here. So if you're using this program inside, let's say, an office, and the boss arrives, the boss key gives you a quick escape. Makes the program disappear, replaced by this spreadsheet with the calendar here. You can quit it at all, or just go back to it and go back in place where was your store. The closest thing to a help file is the Libra 24, which is here. <coughs> And well, you can read it and make up your own mind. See if I did any errors. Corazon is basically uh, a dictionary search, only search for the Nokia words. For example, at the uh, door, I type it. Oh. 
for example, set up uh, the uh, door, Jasmine the Gematic value is 204. It's by standard Gematria, you can also select different Gematic systems. Let's see how much this is worth. Or simply look for the word at the other and tell them that this found in a key number 10. In fact, it just goes on number 10. We go in the original one with the other one that's here. Search for every word used by the program. So if I go on Okodon, it was my previous example, that was Egypt. You see, he highlighted Egypt again. And display the same information. We also search for meanings of the words. You can type whatever. Last but not least, there is the about button, a bunch of details. There's my email address, a donation button. Please donate, send me money. Goodbye. Don't kick my nose.